Let's talk about how to add effect lines into your art in Clip Studio Paint. This works for Clip Studio Paint EX or Clip Studio Paint Pro. So we've got our drawing here. Old Jason Voorhees needs some action lines and where to find those are two places. If you go over here to your figure where you can draw a rectangle or a line, you'll notice two other boxes up here. One says saturated line, one says streamline. Let's just click on the saturated line and you see these little burst sort of shapes. So if I grab that, just click on it and I select the space, boom, there are some effect lines. And of course I can go in and adjust these and make them bigger, I can make them smaller. What I'm actually doing here is making the, the area that they end bigger or smaller. You can change the color. So if I go back over here, I can make them whatever color I want. So there are different patterns that you can, you can use. Uh, the burst comes from the inside out. Now, if I want to get a different kind of line, they have rain here, for example. So we're going to get the, you can select rain. We can pull across here, double click. There's some rain. If you go straight down, it'll it'll just have like one straight line. So these are a little tricky because for the rain, you've got to select all the way across where you want the rain falling. And I double click, and I can actually draw too, so make different points. And but it, what it's doing is it's telling me that area is the only area I want rain. If you want gloom, I want gloom all the way across here. Let's switch back to black. If I want a dark streamline, maybe for an action kind of background thing, I'm just selecting these horizontal lines, but you get the idea there. Uh, the other place that you can do this is up here in the materials menu. We'll expand that. Go down to manga materials and effect line, and you'll see a bunch of these. And some of them you may have to download. They're free. But for example, this one here, I just pull, drag and drop. There it is. I can adjust the size. That's like a speed line. We'll hide that one real quick. Uh, there are different ones. Let's see if you see one you like and you see this little cloud thing and you drag it over, it'll ask you, do you want to download it? We'll say yes. Uh, it will pop up your, at the opening menu, this one right here. And um, once it does that, there it is. You drop it and you've got it. All of these are in the materials menu. Same with sound effects. You can drag and drop over here image material, concrete. Pay attention to this materials menu. There's lots of different things you can use and pull for free over here. And if you're not aware of it, if you're not aware to expand it, you might not know it's there. So I hope that helps add a little bit of extra flavor to your drawings and your comics. Leave me a comment. They help. Let me know what you want to see in future tutorials. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and I'll see you next time.